everyone welcome to my channel so today i have invited sahil hello sahil thank you thank you for accepting my invitation he is my college junior and he also candidate master at code 4 so in this video we will talk everything about how you can start competitive programming and what are the road map you can follow to become a candidate master at competitive programming so hello sahil could you please give us your quick introduction so that our viewer get will get to know about you hi hi sure uh, so hello my name is sahil and i am a candidate master on code forces also i am a five star on code chef uh, also i have cracked various competitions like google code jam i have went to around three of google code jam also i run a youtube channel uh, uh, that i stream my solutions on uh, sometimes also i upload many kind of technical videos on that also i am currently uh, interning as a back end developer at wiki phoenix yeah so that's great and i will put the youtube channel your youtube channel link in the description so if you want to visit uh, sahil channel then you can visit uh, by just going to the description so i i personally watched some of his video and i personally like uh, i personally think that uh, he is creating a very good video so and uh, of course if you will if you want to uh, get tutorial video for different code force contests then you can visit his channel so yeah so the second question i want to you uh, i want to ask from you that our lots of subscriber viewers wants to start competitive programming so could you please suggest some road map for competitive programming yeah uh, so i first of all want to thank amritanjali ma'am as well because she guided me first when i came to college like uh, i met her in my first year and so she was the one like that motivated uh, that like gave me the inspiration to like follow computer coding uh, so first of all if you are new to computer coding i uh, i just want to suggest a few sites that you should uh, like try solving questions on like just go to hacker rank try one or two problems there uh, go to code chef or uh, but the website that i really recommend is code forces uh, i recommend code forces because the contests are very frequent there and uh, the problems are like not that difficult like in code chef sometimes students uh, like the contests are very rare like there are only three contests a month i guess but in code forces it, uh, there are two to three contests uh, in a week so you get a lot of time to like evaluate yourself so as a roadmap uh, the very important thing that i think that helps is upsolving so as a roadmap i think you should first start giving contests uh, then start up solving and if like you get stuck in some part you should read the editorials people recommend uh, algorithms that you need then there is a site called cp algorithms and there are many youtube videos like youtubers like utkarsh gupta erikto they also like upload very videos on many algorithms so like just go to cp algorithms if you are not able to understand the algorithm watch some videos on youtube and so first try to up solve read editorials uh, learn new algorithms and as you start uh, like learning al algorithms try to solve past contests and like uh, and after a certain point you hit your limit like there are only so many algorithms you can learn like if you want to be a candidate master learning up to segmentary uh, is enough i guess uh, segment reason some basic tree algorithms is enough uh, after that like you should just focus on your speed like like you know i can solve this question but in contest i solve this in 40 minutes i want to speed up my implementation i want to uh, get less compilation error now so you can speed up that 40 minute solution to that 15 minute solution and like that speedy part is the thing that gets you from expert to candidate master so like people in uh, who are in expert are all always also able to solve the problems that candidate candidate can, can master can solve but like speed is the big issue yeah so i think so uh, I like you just improve your speed yeah, yeah and one thing i want to add here that be consistent because competitive programming is like marathon yeah. you can't become candidate master in one day yeah yeah so uh, so one more question i want to ask like uh, as you are very good in competitive programming so uh, are you feeling that competitive programming helps you in clearing different online contest of different companies like uh, competitive programming helping you in clearing online test of different companies yeah yeah it is very helpful like uh, currently i gave two to three uh, inter uh, interview exams for companies like american express and the time limit there is like around one and a half hour uh, but due to my experience in cp and my speed and my implementation i am able, able to solve those questions in like 20 minutes like i can solve three to four problems of uh, with these companies in 20 minutes 
so i think that gives me a edge over other students as well also uh, like uh, doing cp improves your general understanding about the concepts the dat data structures and algorithms so like that really helps in your interviews as well uh, if uh, like sometimes the uh, interview comes up comes up with a problem that you have seen in a past contest somewhere so like it saves you time and like it it leaves off a good impression on the interviewer as well so this is really important if you are in first year or second year then please give try to competitive programming and yes if you are in fourth year then you will not get lots of time to start competitive programming you can focus you can only focus on lead code but if you are first second or third year also then you can give a try to competitive programming Yeah. yeah so before asking next question i want to say that this channel is brought to you by newton school newton school ek kafi achhi platform hai jo ki aapko software industry mein job lene mein help karti hai newton school ki february batch start hone wali hai jiska link aapko description mein mil jayega to aap please ek baar us link pe click zarur karna hai and aapko newton school ke bare mein aur kuch pata karna hai to aapko description mein link newton school ka website ki bhi link mil jayegi so so i want to ask one more question uh, what i am seeing that lots of student get stuck at some rating level like some get stuck at 1500 rating level some get stuck at 1400 1300 so what advice you want to give them because they feel very demotivated when they get stuck at some rating level so when you get stuck one thing is to like look at the kind of problems you are getting stuck at like sometimes there are students who can easily solve dp problems but like they don't know tree algorithm so they like when there is a tree then there is a contest that has a kind of dp questions they gain some rating but then in the, in the next question when there are some tree questions they, they lose some rating so you need to identify your weakness and your strengths like you cannot be good at everything so like you need to pick your choice uh, for example if there is a c problem that is of dp but you know that the r d problem is pretty good so you can go for the d problem so like you need to pick your poison uh, and also work on your speed uh, also try to like revisit your contest uh, see your solutions what you can be what you could have done better uh, in, try to improve your speed or see why was i not able to solve this problem did i not know the algorithm agar mere ko algorithm nahi aata to matlab kyun nahi aata tha aur agar mere ko aata tha to main kyun nahi soch paya iske bare mein so yeah so like revisiting contest up solving is the most important thing in my like in my opinion like you can uh, read every algorithm in the world but uh, up solving and reevaluating yourself after the contest is very important correct so i think i have covered all those points so if you uh, if you want if you want to ask any doubt related to competitive programming and uh, if you want to see the tutorial then uh, tutorial of after the contest then you can visit sail channel i will put the link of his channel in the description and also i want to say that you can uh, get connected with sail at linkedin i will also put the linkedin handle of sail in the description so by this note i want to end this video so thank you thank you so much for वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड अगर आप अभी तक हमारा वीडियो वॉच कर रहे हो तो आप इस वीडियो को लाइक भी जरूर कर देना एंड हमारा चैनल को सब्सक्राइब भी जरूर कर देना सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच